Hey there, this is Matt with Defense Innovations, and today we're going to take a look at a product that will probably appeal to the reloaders who watch this channel. Now, great on this channel is uh, not geared towards reloading, uh, but it's something that a lot of us have gotten into uh, in the shooting group uh, that I run in, and uh, especially when you start shooting calibers in which the factory ammo is expensive, uh, number one, or number two, you get to the point where you want to reload your own product. Uh, to fit or suit your rifle to exactly the way that it wants to be uh, fed or loaded. The big component of that is going to be your brass, right? Okay, so for instance, this one right here, I don't know if the camera's ever going to want to focus on it. Uh, this is just some Hornady 6.5 um, Creedmoor brass, and it's uh, a caliber that I've been shooting now for a couple years. I uh, started shooting it maybe about four years ago, really got into it probably about two, two and a half years ago, uh, for long range shooting purposes. The major component of your round obviously being your brass that holds everything together. Um, it's probably one of the most uh, violently messed with pieces of your shooting and it's the mainly the recoverable piece of your shooting to which you can use again to reload. Uh, why reload, number one? Well. Uh, I can reload my custom 6.5 rounds uh, in the realm of 50 to 75 cents per round. Again, the major component of that being the brass cartridge uh, that you're shooting. So now it's going to take us here to the Anneli's machine, uh, which we've picked up. Uh, comes out of Florida, I believe. Uh, I'll put a link for their website in there. Um, but this machine here does one thing, and it does one thing very well, and it's actually to anneal the brass of the weapon that you are reloading for. Why anneal would be the question I get a lot of the time. Well the annealing, um, it's not heat treat so don't confuse it with heat treating, but annealing actually restores the metallurgical properties to the brass and contrary to steel it actually softens the brass, it does not harden it like standard heat treating sometimes does. Uh, so you're, you're getting the brass metallurgically and chemically back to the properties that it held when it came out of its creation, when it was made into the brass cartridge. Um, this can be beneficial for a lot of reasons. So depending on what caliber you're shooting, for instance, like 6.5, you can get, you know, without annealing people, say, five reloads. Uh, I'm up north of that before we got the annealer. I wasn't having any stretching issues or any visible damage to the case. Um, but the annealing really extends the lifespan. I've been reading on forums and, and what have you online. Obviously, you take that with a grain of salt. But there's people who are saying they're getting upwards of 40 reloads when they use annealing. Um, there'll be some debate as to how often do you have to anneal? Is there such thing as over annealing? Which, yeah, you can bake it too long essentially real quick. Um, but at the end of the day, the annealing is gonna save you money. 6.5 brass, for instance, it runs anywhere from 75 cents a piece to a dollar a piece. Sometimes you can find it down in the 50 cent range. But still, if, if you're shooting and you're getting you know, two or three shots, then you're essentially tossing away 50 cents to a dollar each time you have to get rid of something. That's a lot of wastefulness. And then especially if that 50 or 75 cents goes into the bottom line of reloading, like I said, I can do my loads for about 75 cents, let's say. And I can keep using that brass, that unit price comes down uh, over time. So again, this Anelia's machine is, um, uh, it's propane fueled, so there's actually back here, there's like a little Coleman propane tank. And it's very simple. Uh, you'll see some footage here in a second. But all you do is you get your gas going. So once it's going like that, it's very simple. And the wheels here will actually turn. They'll rotate, they'll feed a piece down. You'll get the neck and a little bit of the shoulder here. Drops it down, lets it cool for a second, drops into the tank here. Picks up the next piece and starts going. It's a fairly basic process and it's very effective. And again, this process, uh, you can control the speed right here actually, so we can crank up the speed, have it go really fast, or we can actually crank it down and 
have it go really slow, which in some cases can then get your brass to over anneal. Um, there's also some debate on um, when you want to actually anneal. Um, I've heard that the annealing should be basically the last process you do before loading. And um, I've heard others say at the beginning or whatever, what um, I've seen to be most effective, I'll go ahead and let this finish up real quick. The most effective process I've heard is to go ahead and deprime, go ahead and clean your brass. Uh, if you're going to wet tumble it, dry tumble it. Um, and then you want to go ahead and check length, trim if you need to, and um, go ahead and um, anneal because it'll soften up, be easier on your dies than to go ahead and size, uh, resize your brass, whether that's full length sizing or just simply neck sizing. Um, but again, this this machine is, is very is very helpful. It's very affordable, actually. Let me look up here at the price real quick. But the um, the machine itself, I believe, is 275. It is. It's 275 straight from the, the manufacturer, and it comes out of the box. It's ready for as low as 223 all the way up to 30 out six. So for reloading 556, 308, and 65, and a little bit of 30 out six. Um, this right out of the box is is all set for me. Um, we've probably done close to 2,000 rounds on this machine already, and we've yet to use a full tank of propane. Uh, so <laughs> it doesn't just burn through propane either. So again, it's a very uh, it's a very nice tool. It's very well constructed, actually. Let me unplug this thing right here. Make sure we're not hot at all. But as you can see, it, it, there's not a lot to it. I mean, there's some there's some actuating strips. There's a little bit of obviously gas hose here for the propane. Here's the back of it. We just happen to have the, the tank plugged in right now. There's a little socket here on the side for where you plug in your power supply. And then you've got your feed wheels and your ramp. You can adjust the nozzle here to, to hit either um, or wherever you want on the brass, for instance. But this thing is made out of rolled steel that's then welded. So uh, this isn't there's nothing on here that's plastic or that's cheap in my opinion. It's incredibly well built uh, and for the price point at 275 right out of the box, I mean five minutes after getting this thing out of the box we were kneeling. We were off to the races. So I've been nothing but pleased with this uh, piece of equipment and uh, we'll just let the results uh, speak for themselves. So I'll put a link here in the description uh, for the website for these guys. Uh, again, I think they're coming out of Florida. And currently, right now, the uh, lead time is next day shipping, which is fantastic. I remember about a year or so ago, we were looking at this and entertaining the idea. It was like a four to six week lead time. So, um, looks like they've caught up from their rush, I think. And, uh, you know, they're ready to ship. So, check them out. Definitely highly recommend this product. It's down pat. You can control the timing. Uh, and it's easy. It's very simple to use. It's, it's not intimidating at all for those who are concerned about it. I've done it in my office, I've done it in my kitchen, I've done it in my garage. Um, it's not a dangerous piece of equipment by any measure at all. So, highly recommend it. Anneli's, this is Matt with Defense Innovations, and thanks for stopping by.